Hi everyone, Nina here. Welcome back. Today I am so excited to create with you this art piece that I'm going to make to decorate my craft space at home. I cut all these pieces using my Cricut machine. I tweaked them a little bit. I downloaded a template that I bought and I edited it so it would fit three different layers of this haunted mansion. I want the back to be sturdy so I cut uh, the back from a uh, black cardstock, white cardstock, and a thick chipboard. And I'm going to glue the uh, black cardstock, which is going to be the front, to the chipboard, and then I'm going to attach the white cardstock to the back. Uh, because I didn't want to show the edge of the chipboard, I went all around the chipboard edges with the black marker so it doesn't show. It's black from all the sides now, as you see. And then I'm going to stick everything to the white uh, cardboard, but I'm going to offset them a little bit to the right. So it looks like as if there is light coming from the left. And I'm going to do the same thing for the gate. I'm going also to back it with the white cardboard and I'm going to offset them all to the, towards the same direction, all to the right. Here I left some flaps. Uh, when I was cutting them with the Cricut machine, I edited and added these flaps on the side so I can stick them together. Notice also that I put acetate behind the windows between both the black and the white um, cardstock pieces. So the acetate is sandwiched between both the cardstock. Here I'm going to show you uh, when, I was, when I'm going to do the white uh, doors, I'm going to show you how I'm going to score my flaps I'm going to use my scoreboard I'm going to score the flaps so I can bend them easier fold them easier and then I'm gonna use my bone folder just to make a good crease over there and then I'm going to add a very thin double tape double sided tape so I can attach this to the middle now the gate is at the front most and the back is at the back I'm going to try my best to center the white uh, the white doors in between both the folds so this is the main background is ready now I'm going to create the inner scene it's going to be the witch room and I'm gonna add all her spills her jars and everything for the background I'm creating a fence on top sort of uh, like this kind of fence on top of the background so I put a horizontal line and out of it I uh, drew these thin lines. Parts of them are thin, part of them are thick, and I'm supposed to be removing the thick parts between the thins, which I didn't do on the other side, so I repeated it on this side. Anyways, I'm going to hide the, the bottom with the floor, you will see now. Here I'm going to put another horizontal line so I can align all the fence to be, uh, the sticks of the fence to all be the same size. And I'm cutting like 45 degrees from each side of these sticks so they all look like same uh, they look alike they will almost look the same and then i'm going to attach the whole thing with the tape runner and i'm going to attach it to the background and then i'm going to check my paper pack so i can find a matching floor that matches with the pink and i found this wood grain of um, neon color green. I thought it really matches nice with the pink, so I'm going to add it. it, all it oh, they all come in the release of the Happy Haunting from Doodlebug Designs. You are going to find all the materials and the tools that I'm going to use today in the description below in case you want to check any of them. I was supposed to continue with the witch room, but then I saw this chair and the clock and I was like, before I forget, I have to stick these together. Again, I'm creating a small flap that I put between the gate and the white door. And I added the chair to that flap. And then I'm going to stick the clock behind it. And I thought I'll do it quickly before I forget it. Then I'm going to go back to the witch room. I was going to create just a house um, a scene at, uh, at the inside. But then I thought a witch room would be way more fun. I found this fireplace. And I'm removing one of the candlesticks, so one of them is going to be small and the other one I'm going to replace with a bigger candlestick because I wanted to show from behind the, all the openings and the doors of the, of the white uh, piece of the, uh, the white door. 
and here I'm going to use the sticker sheets, the amazing designs, amazing ideas and the sticker sheets. Here are the jars of eyes, a jar of bugs, so cute, everything is so cute. And here is a scale with the brain or something, <laughs> it's so sweet. And then I'm going to add her books of spells, I guess, and then another bottle of probably a poison or poison or something. It's also cute. Then I was thinking about the other side. What should I be adding on the other side of the room? Then I found this amazing uh, a cup with some bubbly stuff and a teapot. And I thought, okay, this purple is gonna match perfectly with the strip on top of my floor. I always want, like to add uh, a thin strips on top of my floor. Then using my Cricut machine again, I cut this cauldron and with the, this green substance liquid inside, bubbling. And on top of these bubbles, see how cute it is. On top of these bubbles, I thought I was going to just add bubbles and circles cut from the Cricut machine. Then I saw on the sticker sheets these cute eyes and I thought, okay, I'll add them. Why not? She's cooking <laughs> or she's making a spell with some eyes. It looks so cute. So I cut part of the bottom part of the eye so it would look like as if it's immersed inside. And then I just cut a strip, no specific size, but I guess looks like an inch here. And then I uh, scored it from both sides twice and I folded it this way. So it looks like a table or a chair. And this is what I'm going to attach behind my cauldron. So my cauldron is a little raised from the background. You will see when I add it to the background. For now, we're just gonna add this piece here and finish decorating the uh, cauldron. I wanted to add bubbles to the cauldron. I was going to add also the circle things that the Cricut cut, but then I thought, why not? I saw, I saw the enamel dots and I was like, okay, these are some fun, shiny glazed bubbles, but they will look amazing. Then I thought that I wanted to, but the bubbles to be flying from the top of the cauldron. And then for that, I needed uh, acetate strips and I'm cutting just acetate strips so I can add them to, the, to my cauldron and add the bubbles on top of them so they would look like they're flying away out of the cauldron. You will see here what I mean. I'm gonna use my tape runner and just add a little bit on the bottom and stick it to the back of my cauldron. And then on top of that, I'm going to add these uh, googly eyes and then I'm going to add my enamel dots as if they are bubbles coming out of the cauldron floating just in the air but they're actually attached with the acetate. I'm gonna take my time and attach them. The This release is just amazing. I had so much fun creating these things. Every little item, the stickers, the paper packs, everything is just inspiring. Uh, many ideas were in my brain. I was creating everything and then I saw the stars and I was like, oh, if she has a spill inside the cauldron, then there must be stars flying everywhere. I thought it's amazing. Everything is just amazing. I would have never thought about bringing in some stars when I'm doing something for Halloween or inside the room of a witch, but it just makes all the sense when I see whatever they thought about the designs, amazing. So I'm just closing here, I made a close up when I'm editing the video so you can see uh, the cauldron closer, so you can see how raised it is from the background. Here also I have the enamel like uh, sheet, they're stickers of bugs and I'm gonna add everywhere. My mini beasts of the release, so cute and the colors are all matching with the release colors. So I'm gonna add some on the books and some on the skull specimen at the, at the on the floor. And then I guess I'm gonna add a spider on top beside the candlestick. So cute, even the spider is so cute. So 
on the uh, on the other side of the uh, orange chair that, that I attached with the clock I thought I'll put something to balance it on the other side as well on the right side so I'm attaching this another chair and I found that um, and the, the, the same sticker of the cat that is on, sitting on, on the chair and I thought I'll add that sticker to raise the cat a little bit and give it some color, some more dense black. And I added this that comes in the chit chat uh, package, the boo. And here I'm adding the um, spider web that is on acetate and I'm adding it to the front of the gate. And then I'm gonna bring my spider, one of the enamel spiders and I'm gonna attach it to it as if it's coming down from its whip. It's building up a whip or something. It's so cute. Also the acetate gates, I'm just measuring how much I need to fold, where I need to fold. And I'm gonna add a gate on each side. And I'm folding it here. Then I'm going to add my um, tape with the tape runner. And I'm going to add it to the outside of the gate. And I'm gonna wrap it around the sides so also the gate will be on the side I'm going to add uh, tape on the sides as well and then I'm going to cut the rest with my scissors I don't need it to go to the back it's just the front and the side look amazing and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side so we have gate on each side here is the 12 by 12 sticker sheet and I'm gonna add this sentiment over here and gonna embellish the haunted mansion with a lot of stuff. The release is full of fun stuff that will make your project just amazing. I thought by the end I thought I didn't add any sentiment, nothing, no happy Halloween or anything and I found this colorful happy Halloween in the chit chat package and I thought okay let's add this. Here I'm adding on top of it the a candlestick, a bug, and a ghost. And I found this moon piece among the ephemera as well. And I thought I'll definitely have a moon behind my mansion. And decorating some enamel dots, some stars here and there, just to give some more interest. I don't know, I love the pink star with the purple star. They just look amazing together. Then I noticed that the left side of the white page is quite empty after I added the Happy Halloween on the right side. So I'm gonna add uh, a sentiment and a couple of stickers as well. So they're both balanced. Then I found this cute light pole and I added it on the outside. It says wrong way. <laughs> it's just cute and amazing. And then I wasn't sure I should stick these trees or not because I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet in my craft room so I was just showing you the idea but I didn't decide yet where I want it to be so I don't know if I have space for these trees or not and here is a quick flip through this is the front the gate all the cute embellishments and this is as you open you're going to find the chairs on both the sides with the clock and the cat and when you go inside oh I also added this so cute critters stacked up on top of each other they look so sweet and here is the happy halloween sentiment with all the embellishments and here is the witch room she's really cooking up something <laughs> she is really preparing a spill or something with her cauldron raised like this look how cute with all the acetate pieces and the enamel dots and everything i had so much fun creating this with you guys today i hope you did too Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps my channel a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.